Communication is about sales. Keep it simple. People will fill in the blank with their own, I hate to say biases, but with their own perspective in many cases. The tobacco companies knew nicotine was an addictive drug, yet they told Congress. I believe nicotine is not addictive. You see the same small group of people that the tobacco industry used working on all kinds of other issues. Dioxins, pesticides, chemicals in general, I mean, there's no evidence that these are harming us. Scientists would explain the science. Against the scientists, they will have a so-called expert. A seven-week-old baby was in a crib. I literally heard a gasp when he told the story about this baby. Either one of you paid to testify for your time here in opposition to the bill. Citizens for fire safety. Citizens for Fire Safety, the three largest makers of flame retardants in the world. Some of these so-called experts turn out to be very, very good at it. I'm not a scientist, although I do play one on TV occasionally. Uh, okay, hell, more than occasionally. <laughs> it creates a whole new cast of characters, these people who become well-known for casting doubt on global warming. Catastrophic global warming is a hoax. There's no scientific consensus. You go up against a scientist, most of them are very hard to understand and very boring. It's all about preventing you from looking where the action really is, which is in the science. The Earth is getting warmer, no question about it. It's getting old face, no line. Kind of an amazing accomplishment. Such a small group of people have had an enormous impact on public opinion. We're the negative force. We're just trying to stop stuff. You don't fool 